India has a prolonged history of copper mining and metallurgy since the age of the Harappan civilizations. The earliest evidence of ancient copper mining in India has been found in the Khetri region of Rajasthan dating back to about the 3rd to the 2nd millennium BC. Hindustan Copper Limited, the nation's only copper mining company, carries forward the glorious legacy with landmark achievements in the history of copper mining owning seven mining leases across the country. Incorporated on the 9th of November 1967 as a central public sector enterprise under the administrative control of the Ministry of Mines, HCL has the distinction of being the nation's sole vertically integrated copper producer with mining, beneficiation, smelting and refining facilities. Conferred with the status of Miniratna Category 1, the company has registered its presence across the entire value chain of copper. With products acknowledged for their superior quality and reliability. HCL's facilities include K3 Copper Complex in Rajasthan, Indian Copper Complex in Jharkhand, Malajkhand Copper Project in Madhya Pradesh, the Loja Copper Project in Maharashtra and Gujarat Copper Project in Gujarat. The company is headquartered in Kolkata, West Bengal. Development of K3 Mine in the Aravalli foothills was started by NMDC which was handed over to HCL in 1967 at the time of its formation. Currently under K3 Mining lease, K3 and Banvas blocks are in operation as underground mines and under the Kolihan mining leaves. Underground mine at Kolihan is also in operation whereas the open pit at Chandmari block has reached its final depth. Indian Copper Corporation was established as a British company in 1924 at Ghatshila by purchasing the mining rights at Mosabani. In 1972, the government of India nationalized the company, renamed it as Indian Copper Complex and brought it under the administrative control of HCL. Initially, the unit had smelting and refining facilities with a number of mines in operation. Presently, mining operations have resumed in Surta since 5th of October 2024. Lease of Kendadi Mine has been extended till 2043. Its mine operation will commence shortly after obtaining statutory clearance. Reopening of Racha Mines and mining from Greenfield Chapri Block under the Racha Mining Lease is under active consideration and will start after obtaining necessary statutory clearance. Malajkhand Copper Project was established in 1982. Initial project has been set up by HCL to exploit the copper ore through an open pit mine. Since the open pit mine has now reached the ultimate pit depth, a state-of-the-art underground copper mine has been developed and brought into operation under the open pit mine.
The Loja Copper Project was set up in December 1989 based on technology sourced from Southwire, USA. The project has facilities for producing continuous cast copper wire rods from cathodes. On October 6, 2016, HCL dedicated to the nation its fifth unit at Chagaria Bharuj, Gujarat, which has the versatility to treat various copper-bearing materials in an eco-friendly manner. Copper is one of the most versatile metals known to man across civilizations. Acknowledged the world over for its eternal properties, its use is manifested in a wide range of applications, cutting across industries as diverse as electrical, electronics, telecommunications, refrigeration, transport, defense, railways, construction, architecture, electric vehicles, and in renewable energy sector, to name a few. The demand of copper is expected to soar in the days to come with rapid growth in industrial sector. Copper is also pivotal to green economy with new age demand drivers like electric vehicles, renewable energy and digitization. Further, with the increase in urbanization, rural electrification, affordable housing schemes and industrialization invigorated by the Government of India initiatives like Make in India, Smart City, etc. There will be a growing demand for copper while the world risks running out of the metal amid widening supply and demand deficits. COVID-19 has also reaffirmed copper's usage in the healthcare industry by the virtue of its antimicrobial properties. The demand for copper will surge significantly due to the growing electric vehicle industry as a substantial amount of copper is required for production of electric vehicles. While making of an electric car can need 38.5 to 83 kilograms of copper, hybrid and electric buses can contain 83 to 300 and 69 kilograms of copper. As the adoption of electric vehicles continues to accelerate, driven by the global push for cleaner and more sustainable transportation solutions, the demand for copper will consequently increase, reinforcing its critical importance in the automotive sector. Consequently, it is the need of the hour for our nation to be self-reliant in copper. As a measure to reduce the nation's dependence on imported copper concentrate and to nurture our self-reliant economy, HCL has embarked on an ambitious mine expansion drive to enhance copper ore production from its current level of about 4 million tons per annum to 9.6 million tons per annum by the next five to six years. The company is poised to emerge as a dominant copper mining player in the years to come. With the mission of exhorting Atmanir Bharta beyond the mining borders, HCL has taken up several projects like promoting preventive health care, making available safe drinking water facility, promoting education and employment, enhancing vocational skills, livelihood opportunities, promoting environmental sustainability, to empower the locals and garner self-sufficiency in the lives of those staying in and around its mining units. In service to the nation since 1967, Hindustan Copper Limited pledges to ensure efficient mining of the country's copper resources, a critical mineral for a self-reliant economy on a sustainable basis and thus play a colossal role in nation building.